Hi friends, it's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a plan with me for the week of September 18. But first I'm going to flip back and show you previous week's spread. This was using a Little Miss Papery kit. And if you're interested in watching that video, I will link it in the card above. So for this video, I will be using a fall kit from Honeydew Paper Shop. This one is called Fall in Love and it's still available in her shop if you're interested in buying it. But it's very special to me because exactly one year ago, I used it in my A5 planner and it is one of the first full kits that I've ever purchased for myself. To this day, this is the only kit that I've ever repurchased, but I just really loved the fiery red colors in it on the flower arrangements and also love the dark brown wood background. So at the end of the video, I'll share with you my A5 spread from last year, but for now I'm just placing down the bottom washi and the kit came with these really thin gold strips and at first I wanted to stack it on top of the bottom washi, but it just took up too much space so I'm actually layering it on top. Next, I'm placing down the date covers for Monday to Wednesday and it also puts the little flag that is on the left side and I'm going to move on to the sidebar. In the thankful thoughts section, I put the quote box that says fall in love, which is also the name of the kit. And then there's a little bit of flag peeking through that's on the original planner and I just wanted to cover that up with a washi strip. Even though I am memory planning, I still like to use the sidebar stickers to just make the spread look more complete. So in the two that are given in the kit, I write skincare and reading with my Sharpie pen. I know in the previous video, I've said that the Sharpie pen doesn't really write well on matte paper, but for some reason I decided to give it another try. And then underneath that, I wanted to track the book that I'm reading that week, so I wrote that in a book label from Sticky Fingers Co. I used a label with a delivery box icon as my header for my Happy Mail. I was only expecting a package from Amazon, so I wrote that on the line with the asterisk circle dot next to it. I used a This Week header and then I placed the Full Box Habit Tracker underneath that. I usually track my exercise for the week on here, but to be honest, I've been slacking and I haven't exercised for a very long time and that's really bad. The Amazon icon is from The Coffee Monsters Co. and now I'm moving back to Monday. Before putting down stickers on Monday, I'm going to place down my glitter headers. I picked three colors, the red, orange, and brown, and I'm just placing them in an alternating pattern so that the colors are well distributed throughout the spread. So I am 100% not a morning person, which means I need an extra boost of energy from either coffee or milk tea. So I used a couple of stickers from my store to mark Coffee Monday on a half box, and I placed that underneath a Today header at the beginning of Monday. I bought some groceries from a supermarket, so I wrote that in a label with a shopping cart icon, and then I used one of the full boxes in the middle section, and I layered on top a working emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. That evening I had a work event, so I took one of the half boxes and I layered on top a pencil sticker from my store and I'm just going to write in the details off camera. After the event, we watched some episodes from Jane the Virgin, so I wrote that in one of the TV labels, and then we also had to do some planning for our upcoming trip to San Diego, so I wrote that in another label. On a Tuesday it was payday, so I put down a full box at the top. And then I used one of the brown appointment labels and I layered on top of that the little money bag icon from the kit and I wrote in payday. To mark my coffee for the morning, I wrote it in one of the labels and then I layered on top an iced coffee sticker from my store. Next, I wrote down the tasks for the day. I placed down a brown to-do header and I cut up one of the hard checklists to write down that I wanted to reply to messages, organize our desk, and tidy up our room. In the blank space underneath that, I put some deco and the vacuum cleaner icon. So we finally booked our flights to San Diego, so it is for sure happening in the future. We're going with Brian's family to celebrate his parents' 30th anniversary, so it's kind of a really cute and fun family trip, and I've never been to San Diego before, so I am really excited. So I tend to worry and overthink about every single little thing and I think that's just because I'm a Libra and I don't know if you guys believe in horoscopes but mine are usually scarily accurate. Um, so I wrote that in one of the little labels and then I put a crying Mario sticker over that because that was what happened when I came home that day except it was more internal crying and then I took a nap and I felt a lot better and when I went to work the next day I realized that I'd worried for no reason and everything was fine. 
So on Wednesday, I put a today header at the top. It was one of my roommate, housemate, apartment mate. It was my friend's birthday. So I wrote that in one of the labels and I used a candle sticker from my store. Another friend tends to go to a milk tea place really late at night and I always ask them to kindly bring me back some milk tea so I can bring it into work the next morning. So that is what I did. So I took a milk tea sticker from my store and laid it on top of one of the teardrop icons and then wrote with the pen that I got Jazz and Milk Tea, which is my go-to drink. For my friend's birthday, I offered to make some homemade Vietnamese spring rolls and so I needed to go to the grocery store to buy some ingredients. So I took one of the full box heart checklists and I layered on top the to buy header and then I cut it in half and just wrote in some of the ingredients that I needed to pick up. I didn't like the spacing in that section so I peeled up the sticker and added the bill do one on top. I took one of these really cute grocery bag stickers from Meowcaroons and Co and I added that to the shopping list. In the bottom section I put a full box and then I took one of the meal labels and I just wrote in that I made spring rolls and then I also used the Chef Daisy Girl sticker from Crafty Licious Loves and I was having trouble with the placement of these stickers so I just played around until I was happy. After dinner we headed to the movie theater to watch Girls Trip and my friends and I thought it was a super hilarious comedy. We really liked Tiffany Haddish's inappropriate humor and I cannot look at grapefruits the same way. If you watch the movie then you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, female empowerment was also a big theme in it, which was awesome to see, so I just wrote the movie title in the movie marquee, and then I took this popcorn sticker from Happy Dia Stickers with the panda popping out of it, and layered it on top. Now onto the second half of the spread. I start by putting down the glitter headers and date covers, but I'm just going to skip to the activities on Thursday morning. I took one of these scalped labels and I put on top this Treat Yourself sticker from Wild Sunshine Co because on Thursdays my team treats ourselves to some milk tea. So I took one of the labels and I layered on top this boba sticker from my store and I wrote down where we got our milk tea. I stacked some washi strips on top of each other to act as a background for the emoji sticker that is working in front of a laptop from the Coffee Monsters Co. I placed down a to-do header and then I cut up one of the chart checklists and I wrote some items that I need to purchase for the store. I placed down the delivery box circle icon to fill up some of the white space. That evening our apartment mates were really kind and took me and my friend out for a joint birthday dinner at a fancy restaurant in the city even though my actual birthday wasn't for another week but that was fine. And so I used a flag sticker and I layered on top the little birthday gift icon and then I wrote get ready next to that. In the bottom section, I put a full box and then I took a meal label and I wrote in the restaurant that we went to. That meal was definitely unforgettable. It was the first time I ever had Wagyu beef and it was just so delicious and so rich and just flavorful and all the great things that I've heard about it, I think is worth the hype. Um, I'm not sure about worth the price tag. I definitely wouldn't have gotten it <laughs> if it wasn't for my friends, so I really want to thank them. So I layered the fork and knife sticker on top of the meals label, even though it's kind of redundant, but I really wanted to make sure that this meal was properly represented with a large fork and knife. And then I took a yellow heart balloon sticker from my store. And then for dessert, we went home and we had a chocolate tart and we sang happy birthday to my friend and we gave him some presents. So the chocolate cake that I layered on top of the label is from my store and I think it matched really well. So on to Friday, I put one of the full boxes at the top and I'm just really loving all of the full boxes here. The little flowers and leaves and wood grain. It's so incredibly beautiful. And so on top of that, I layered one of the flags and the coffee cup on top of that. And then I wrote in that I got a pumpkin spice latte that day. I also needed to stop by the post office, so I wrote that in the full box, and then I put the Happy Mail sticker next to that. Friday was the first day of the PBC sale, so I placed down a Today header, and then in one of the scalp labels, I wrote PBC sale, and then I cut up one of the hard check flags, and I wrote down the three stores that I purchased from, which were Soda Pop Studios, The Coffee Monsters Co., and Let's Plan It, and two of those shops are new to me, and I bet you can guess which ones they are, and I'm really excited to try out their stickers. The cell phone sticker is from Paisley Prince Co and it's so accurate because there are some Etsy stickers in the phone screen and then I also filled up some space with the dollar sign circle icon. So that Friday night was super duper fun. 
Brian and I went on a double date to the Ice Cream Museum, which is a temporary museum in the city. It's been in New York, I think, and Los Angeles. And so I tried to hand letter in that half box, but my spacing was terrible and it like, I tried to write it on the page and that just looked awful, so I just redid it in another half box. I tried to take as many vlog clips as I could to add to the intro and I think you can see from those video clips that it was just a super colorful experience and it was quite expensive, but um, I think it was worth it and I had a lot of fun. It was just so appealing to the eyes and it just made me feel really happy, so I think that makes it all worth it. So I put that in a half box like I said and I'm taking this little bear ice cream sticker from my store since that was the theme of the museum and then I'm trying to place this camera circle icon somewhere and I end up placing it on top of that glitter header. For dinner we got Tasty Pot and oh my god I eat there like once a week and it's just so good and it's filling, has vegetables, makes me happy. So I put the little meal circle icon and then I wrote the restaurant name and then I move on to Saturday. So first I had to figure out where to put this huge weekend banner and it is abnormally large for weekend banner so it takes up a lot of space more than I usually like to but it's just so pretty that I didn't really care that I took up that much space and I didn't really do that much on the weekend anyways but on Saturday we had a little birthday party for my friend and I another joint thing since we have a lot of overlapping friends but first we needed to tidy up the apartment and when I say we it was mostly Brian I'll be honest I was cutting stickers and Brian was cleaning and he likes to clean so it's all good I placed down a teardrop sticker and layered on top the spray bottle and then wrote tidy up next to that in the full box I'm hand lettering the Facebook event name that we made for our friends and Brian came up with it it's a play on like the great British Bake Off, so it says the Great DeWins, which is a combination of my name and my friend's name, Waffle Party Birthday Bake Off, because <laughs> it was waffle themed, although we didn't really have that many waffles, like I made some pandan waffles, which I think is like a Filipino Vietnamese thing, because no one really knows what it is when I say that we're making pandan waffles, and then we were going to have chicken and waffles for dinner, but when Brian got the KFC, we were in the middle of a board game so no one really had the energy or was motivated to make waffles to eat with that so yeah not too many waffle making that day but it was still very very fun so the next label was very exciting for me and it was for hitting 2,000 subscribers on YouTube I am so incredibly happy that you guys like my videos enough to subscribe and I absolutely love 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 reading all the comments on all the videos so to celebrate, I will probably have a giveaway for an Etsy gift card, and I also have a de-stash pile of stickers if you're interested in that, but I'll have the official details in a later video. So back to the birthday party, we played a bunch of games until very late into the night, so I took one of these scalloped labels and I layered on top the board game night sticker from my store, and then we had some birthday cake, and that sticker from my store is actually very accurate to the cake we ate. It was a layered strawberry cake. And we also had karaoke that night, but I ran out of space that day, so I'm just going to move on to Sunday. So I started off with another milk tea sticker on top of a teardrop, and yeah, I drink that like every other day. I drink it like it's water. It's probably not healthy for me, but anyways, I need to get some stuff done, so I wrote that next to the sticker, and then I put a to-do list underneath that. Brian and I went for an evening walk, so I wrote that on one of these scalped labels, and I laid it on top the Kinati sticker from Kina Prints. I placed the last full box down and then for dinner we had some Hawaiian food and watched Jane the Virgin, so I wrote that in a couple of labels. After that I wanted to play around with my camera settings, so you may have noticed a little bit of quality difference. And then to end the night I did some credit report stuff because of that whole Equifax mess. So that is the end of this spread, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I'm just going to flip through the pages to show you the stickers that are left over. I have a lot and I'm going to use it in my hourly planner. And now I'm going to show you the spread from my A5 planner a year ago and I still really love this kit. The date covers are different, there are pieces that are different but I really really like the current format. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, like this video, and subscribe for more, and I will talk to you guys another time. Bye!